here with Douglas. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. Round two. Yeah. I hurt my back, but it's okay now. Well, I hurt my hip, really, and so it's okay. Okay. After I finished, we were on the 30th of yeah. June. Had a game of golf at London Lynx. You passed by yeah, London yeah. Lynx. Yeah, so yeah. I've heard it's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I had a game of golf there. I beat the guys. Did you? Even though, you know, I just went up and just did what you... And I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even think about it. I just went through a routine. And I had nine shots. I was happy with it. Good. I fell off the course. I was happy. Um, <clears> and that was fine. And then, because I hurt myself, yeah. I, didn't have, I didn't have any... I was busy over the weekend. Um, I, had plenty of, I didn't have any practice at all. Didn't do any drills. The first nine holes, I never missed a fairway. I hit, you know, and I had a lot of great shots. Yeah, really good shots. And this is a tree-line course. It's a yeah. tough course and it's well bunkered and everything. I had a lot of really good shots. And I thought... Oh, but then it just kind of fell apart on the back nine because my back was, you know, Start the hip was up. starting to play yeah. up there. How is it now? It's fine now. Good. It's fine now. Good. So that's all I've done. So I've okay. done no practice. But even the, what was amazing, you know, London Lynx just walked up, you know, just swung the club a few times, walked up and hit it. Mm, At Lady Bank, first drive, I don't like the first drive, I always pull it left or pull it to the right, you know, and hit the trees. Had a beautiful little fade. You know, just faded off this bunker down there and wedged onto the green. And that was without any practice. That was awesome. just swinging. Yeah. Just thinking different. Just thinking differently. And I hit all these nice shots, which, and I was hitting into places I've never hit it before. Never hit it before. And I thought, this is different. Right, I just do what you say. Yeah. Just there, pull there, pull back, turn. Nice one. And then just hit through. That drew a little bit, but it's more of a, it started left, so it's just yeah. a slight pull. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? But it's mm -hmm. the beauty of the golf swing now, it's because when you hit the ball, I hit the ball quite well. Yeah. Sometimes good. Yeah. But it's not, because you're not getting all these kind of funny shots, you know, you're in a good place all the time when you play golf. Yeah. Whereas before, yeah, maybe yeah. a terrible shot, you know, so, and I know through time, practicing the drills, especially, especially on the board, to get the weight right. Well, look at that, that was a terrible shot. Direction was good, just a bit clean, wasn't it? Yes. So just watch the ball flights because that's really interesting. All oh, right, okay. I'll so that was a that, so that was a that was a bit of a yes slight push cut. Yes. Okay. The other ones were slightly pulled Pulled. Draws. Yes. Right. Okay. So what that's telling us, Douglas, is the path yes. must be a bit to the left. Yes. If it's a little bit close to the path, you get in the pull draw. But then that one was slightly open to the path, so you got the ball then starting just well where the face is pointing there, and then. Just, just to the right and fade in. That's okay if you're playing the fade intentionally. Yes, yeah. mm. So that path is great if we're playing a fade, but if yeah. we're trying to make the ball straightish or with a draw, that's not the path we want because that's gonna, like I say, create the pull draws or the push fades. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get the path to the right. As you were sensing earlier, you can get that later release and, ha and you can feel that club face to the right. Now you can let that release when you want. Right. Whereas a club face that's rotating too early you kind of hold it on and trying to try to time it and, and almost tension to keep it straight. Correct. And we had the lesson that last Saturday. You felt you had that little kind of chicken wing move. Again, it's thin. I could feel the I could feel the chicken wings because everything's released early yes. and then the, the the arms have got nowhere to go. Right, cool. yeah. So we've got to create the space for the release. But to do that, look how much shaft lean we need to achieve this to have the path out to the right. If I don't have that shaft lean and try and get a path out to the right, the club bottoms out too early and it's too shallow so I need this now I've got the leading edge working yeah so already you're using that's not bad but you're using this part all right the club yeah. so you're bouncing still flipping then so can you see this is not a, this is not the sound we want of the divot no that's okay if you're using like a sand wedge and you're trying to slide it and maybe pop it over a bunker for an iron we want the leading edge cutting in because we want to bring the sweet spot down towards the ball we've got to de-loft it we want this the bounce is going to work and you're going to get that so i want you to get a toady divot all right now look how that can you hear that sound yeah that's the leading edge that's how the club's designed to interact with the ground all right yeah. Yes. 
Good. But what you've got now is you've got a path to the right mm -hmm. and a face that's closing on that path, right. but not fully closed. Hold that club for me with, right. with, with your right hand as well. Put your right hand on. Now shuffle your feet to the right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now that must, that'll feel pretty strange. Yeah, yes, oh yes. And you can rotate your body more towards me. And look, there we go. Now, without stopping, just now swing it back and take a little divot on the way through. You can swing back and through, just feel that place. Off you go. Just, just a little, small yeah, swing. swing. Just a little swing and take that divot back and through. Yes. Wow. Different feel. Oh yeah. Now that's the sound of the divot we're looking for and just hold it there, feeling the tension in. Yes. That's right. Oh, yeah. So that face has been rotating through impact, but look, it's not doing all this business. No. It's control. Now, this is what you were talking earlier about yes. weight shift, because we need the weight shift to get across. Yes. So don't move a muscle. Now go back and through, see if you can shift the divot forward. So it's still it's better. Stand on here for me, so let me pop that there. Before you make that divot, you've got to have tipped the board to the left. So do the same thing now. So the, it's gonna, that's it. Good, so now you can start to feel how much further forward you've got to go and down and with down the body. Because right. so we missed the ground. Yes. So let's go again. Yes. Now you can use the board to help you. Yes. So you can rock forward to go back and through and use that to help you shift the body mass forward. Awesome. Starts right, draws back. Different feel? Oh, a different feel, yes. So you just weren't moving your body through space early enough. What the GRF did then was it kind of with the momentum, it took you into that space. What you're appreciating is how far you can move left. Shot. Mm. Perfect. Oh. What a golf shot. What a shot. Different feel? That's a different feel, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So I'm not thinking anything about this, no. you know, this business or release no. here. You know, but then it's just happening. You're just it? moving into a space that's facilitating this. Yes. The, body, the body will do it. Yes. What a shot. Huh. I think it much better than that one. It's different to what I was doing before. Yes. But then, of course, you're trying to get me to... Yes. Yeah. We're going up levels. Yes. That's what we're doing. That's it. I can, we can't do... I thought I was quite, I was quite happy at the last <laughs> level. Now it you're going to be happier. You see, that was, you did amazing in the first lesson. And what we're doing is we're advancing it. Now, I'm taking you a little bit further because yes. um, and you've not had time to practice. Normally, this would be after a month or two or yes. three or four. Yes. Some people come back later on in the year. Yes. What we're doing is, because I'm not going to see you for a while, yes. giving yes. you the toolkit to work on, yes. which supports what we did last time, but then <laughs> progresses it. Progresses it. Shot. Wow. Oh. Look at it. Oh, nearly hit it. That was awesome. Certainly the ball flight is a lot lower yeah. than before. There's nothing wrong with that because the ball was struck. Yeah, so. You're striking it up here, look. Yes. Catching it up in the higher up the face. That's because, because I'm did, going down. You did, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you're compressing the ball. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it is, so, as you say, it's softer. But then that's what I want. I want to exactly. get more control. More control. As you walk in, you're going to slide the club up, just like you were doing earlier. You don't have to slide it all the way along the floor. Just as you're walking in, just... No, just, just now it goes. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> what a <laughs> It's easier cool. walking into it because... Yeah, look the, at that. Yeah, it feels easier walking Look at the distance now. You've yes. got your body mass moving. Yes. So that's tapping into body mass movement and then vertical force to accelerate it. And then you get the release, but you're getting it at the right time. Way, 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 way later than you normally would. And again, brilliant. What a shot. Beautiful flight. That's awesome. So you're spending time in this space. Yes. Instead of this. Whoa. That's a different golf shot. Feel different? Everything's felt different this session. <laughs> yeah. Listen to this metronome, swing it up on the top to go right. back and through. It's too fast. Just 
throw that ball and notice how fast you swing your arm. Throw it, notice how you throw the arm back. Off you go. Big throw. Off you go. Yeah, so you did that. Threw your arm back. Ah. You didn't go back slow. No, I, okay. I threw it back, but. So now, imagine, don't let go, it's a nice studio, but I want you to imagine you're throwing the club back there. Yeah. And again, back and forth. Keep it in rhythm, back and forth. But imagine you're throwing it back. That wasn't the throw back. That's a throw back. Yes. That's it. This is what your drop and pop's reacting to. Yes, look at that. Oh, it's better. I felt it more mm. on the way back as you say. Change well, that's gone. It's past the second change, post. Change the direction. Yes. You're changing direction. Much, yes. earl much earlier. Much still back there and then yeah. And react. And what's changing right. your direction? The drop, ready to pop. Too early. That's all. Too early. Mm. I, I, I but didn't... you're used to being. The, you're a bit used to being early. Yes. With the release because yes. you've not ever shifted which has taken longer. So we're gonna do this exercise where we walk on here, throw the club forward on one, back on two, drop on three. We're not gonna swing through yet. We're just gonna leave it up there. So it's one, two, three. No, don't, no swing down, Douglas. Right. Remember, we, we keep the club up top. Yeah, but you held all that. Ah uh, yes, I so did. I did. What's going to brace? What's going to brace that club and arm is, is you dropping speed. back here. All oh, right. Yes. Right. Okay. The change of direction. The change of direction is where it's at. That loads the body. One, two, three. So, too slow. Let me show you. But this is this is going to suddenly open up the floodgates for your distance. Throw it forward. One, two. Three. You're throwing the club and then you're you're moving in the opposite direction. Right. The club's going up, you're going down. Club's going back, you're going forward. Just right, okay. Not push the brake when I'm not doing it. Yes, right, okay. Just throw it forward. Ready. Okay. One, two, three. Better. But you can go a lot earlier with the board and leave the club up. Throw it forward. One, two. Three, yes. Very good, now you can drop more. Yes. One, two, three. So on three, you've got to get into right. that place. Yes, I'm not, yes. That's all, you've got to go forward. One, two, three, four. Have a couple of shots now. It's good because you're, you're testing, you're challenging the body movement wise. That really divot as well. Never hit the divot that far. Look how far the ball's gone. Now, on a level ground. We still was thinking, when you see the pros, I thought, look at the divots. Yeah. The distance they hit for them, the ball, I hit my ball. That's, you're starting to appreciate the tempo, the space. It's all tempo, space. Sensing that. Yes. Oh. Well done. Now you can shift the direction a bit. Yes, that's... Now let's just go back inside on the mat. That was a bit of shape. It was, wasn't it? I felt that one. Yeah. Let's go for the 150 on the left. Yeah. Shot. Well, he's hit it. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Okay. Yes. Thanks, Douglas. Thanks well done, mate. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for having us up this well week. No problem. Well done. That Brilliant. was awesome. Brilliant. That was fantastic. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos.